Hello, what is up everybody? My name is Ryan Superfly and we have a presentation of Halo Basketball coming through. Not even close to live right now. We're just start the game up real quick and we are going to have a special guest. See, folks, here's one thing special about Halo Basketball which you don't know. The fact is, it's we have our players mic'd up. So we're going to have King Superfly, the leader of the red team, the man with the plan, the we're going to have him mic'd up, and he is going to kind of give us a good feed of what's going on during the game. So let's just start this up, and let's go. Of course, the weather here in uh, Halo Court 2.0 is the same for every game because it's a video game. So we're just going to do this. The teams right now are King Superfly, who shot you, the Ibby on the red team versus Jesse Bramble on the blue team. Oh yeah, and Mr. McDonald and pop it bop 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 on the blue team. All right, so let's get things going on the way right now. Of course, Halo basketball rules get the ball in the hoop, and you win. So here we go. We're gonna be joined by and Sarge in about ten seconds. All right, here we go. We got some party action going on. All right, red team takes the lead. We're on King Superfly's cam right now. It's going down. It's going time. is on seven seconds for the ball. All right. Let's, let's go mic'd up to Sarge right now. Wow. Wow, what, what a great team. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. They, they are so good. Wow. It's just an awesome team. I mean, hello, Sarge. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, hey, hey, what's up there? What's up there, King? Oh, hey, what's up there, Sarge? How's the game going? You know what, man? I really, I just got such good teammates, you know? Every phase of the game, you guys are just so good. Uh, see that, that shot right there? Why reason that miss? Because my teammates, I mean... It's so good, I mean, you know, the only reason the Great Depression, I mean, is because my teammates, they're just really good. You know, Sarge, that's great, and you're driving down the field, you're up 2 nothing right now, early lead. And taking the shot. It's a great shot there, Sarge, it's a great shot. You know, man, uh, I really can't take credit, uh, you know, that kill, it's not really me, it's my teammates. Those sticky grenades, uh, the only reason I have them is because of my teammates, you know. The only reason that a nerf turret can even join my party is because of my teammates. It's really just, uh, it's an awesome thing when you can have a, uh, guys on your team that you call them teammates, you know? I wish I knew what you were talking about right now. That's a good, that's a good pass there by Sarge. Taking it down. That's Ibby with the shot. Oh, and there. That would be an uh, unknown blue team player with a great block. Uh, Sarge, what are your thoughts on that good block right there? Uh, you know, when you got such good teammates like that, I mean, sometimes they're going to get blocked because, uh, you can't have the best teammates in the world, but you can have really good ones like this. And you know, uh, there's a great there's a great saying that uh, uh, Dirk Dirk once said. He said, uh, "When you got great teammates and great players, you get blocked." So you know, we just we just go by that. You know, Dirk's he's a great motivational speaker. Um, so listen to what he says. He says, "If your teammates get blocked, then you just get blocked." It's not much we can do about that. Oh, here and here's Sarge taking the hoop. Oh, and he gets killed from behind. It's a good kill. Yeah, I mean, you know. And you some, sometimes you just gotta sit back and you gotta just think. I mean, what if I got killed like that? If I didn't have such good teammates, you know? You know, I, I don't think I would have. Alright, good kill there by Sarge. With Ian McDonald knocking down the goal. Mr. McDonald 150. Of course, his uh, uncle, Mac Dizzle, is a great commentary partner of mine. He is uh, asleep right now. As it's actually. Uh, 14 o'clock in the morning well during game time right now here we go McDonald going for the ball Sarge kills Papa to Bop Bop Sarge kills Jesse and then there we go it's a great kill uh, Sarge has some good killing right there but you know uh, you, you can win your teammates at home like this so what are you going to do about it you know um, you know the, the only reason that uh, the only reason that Rosa Parks didn't uh, give up her seat is because of my teammates you know they, they were just there and you know you got to tell them how it, how it goes you know it was just a great thing, you know. Good kill there, start by Sarge on top of the bop up. Kills Jay Bram up the field. Going out for a pass. Teammate got it. Looking at him, looking at him, looking at him, holding it, holding it, holding it. Doesn't pass it. Kills top of the bop up. Oh, he gets stuck. Yeah, you know, um, it's tough sometimes. You know, you know, such good teammates like this, sometimes you get stuck. It's not what you can do about this, you know. I understand you, I understand you, Sarge. I, I feel where you're coming from. Here we go, Sarge going down. Ian, right in front of him. Red team dies. 
There's Ibby waving on the hoop for the ball when he puts the spawn. Ibby goes up. It's kill on top of the bop bop. Gets the in from him. Oh, he, he invites it off. Gets the in. There's Jesse with the shot. And Jesse with the shot. As I just said, with the shot. Oh, amazing. Kill on top of the bop bop. Looking up. Uh, by the way, folks, his name actually is not Papa the Bop Bop. I just want to let you know why that voice comes in. There's a shot. And it's an alley oop to Jorge. Who shot ya? Jorge. Jorge shot ya. Jorge. With the shot. Uh, Sarge, what are your thoughts on, uh, what are your thoughts on Thunder? Hey, Sarge, what are your thoughts on Jorge here? You know, man, he's a, he's a great teammate, you know? You know, he does a lot, of, a lot of good things for us, you know? One of those things just happens to be, uh, being a great teammate, you know? It just, it's just what he does. You know, he uh, kills people, he shoots the ball, and sometimes he even uh, buys us dinner. Sometimes. You know? He's just a great teammate. That's what a great teammate does. You know? Sarge kills Papa the Bob Bob, gets stuck. There's Ibby with the ball. Ibby throws it away. Here's Ian with the ball. Ian driving down the court. Score 10 to 4 right now in favor of the red team. Kills top of the bop bop. There we go. With the fast break, with the point time, Ibby, let's go! <laughs> Sarge, what are your thoughts on uh, that shot right there? I mean, you know, man, it's just a, it's a great shot by a great player. I mean, Ibby, he's a he's a really good teammate. You know, huh? he's been uh, playing ha Halo basketball forever for like uh, for like six to eight weeks now. Uh, feels like two months. I mean, it's been like it's forever. You know. Just, just great teammates. Like, they just do that sometimes, you know? There's Sarge with the stick. Sarge with the kill. Kill top of the bop bop. Wide open. The pass from Ivy. The look off the shot. It's good! Now, here we go. The red team jumping out to an early lead. Up 10 to 4. And 10 to 4, you see? I can't even read. Up 14 to 4. Just trying to take advantage. Uh, Sarge, what do, you, what do you think about the blue team? You know, man, uh, they're all scumbags. I hate every one of them. You, you can't get many team there. You, every single one of them is just terrible teammates to one another. You know, uh, you just hate that. You just hate that when a team doesn't get along like they do. I mean, I heard one time, I heard that the Civil War is just because of the blue team, you know? I heard that uh, some of them supported slavery, some of them didn't, and they started a Civil War because of it. I wasn't talking about the American Civil War, of course. Here's Sarge taking it. Kills Ivy. Looking for Oh, Jesse throws it away. Jesse throw, oh, Jesse does not throw it. He throws it. Ian, Ian with the shot. Ian, good. 14 to 8. Ian with the kill. Now you see Sarge's dead body. He's really a, a great dead body. You know, you know, uh, when you got good teammates, you got a good dead body. That's just what it is. Ian with the shot. Sarge with the block. That's just that's a great defensive play by the best player in the league, you know? I mean, I wouldn't call myself best player in the league. I mean, I definitely call myself top one, but you know, you got great teammates like that, you know? Sometimes you're just going to be the uh, up there, you know? Double kill there by Sarge. Triple kill by Sarge. Wide open. There's the pass. Oh, bad pass, bad pass. Takes it. Gets around one guy. Shoots. It's good! There we go. Red team up to a big lead right now. 16 to 8 with 7 minutes left. But you can't give up on the blue team. Isn't that right, Sarge? I mean, when you got such a uh, bad team like them, sometimes they'll actually play good. It's, uh, it's a really a crazy thing, isn't it? Sarge with that shard, Sarge good. And here we go, the red team. The red team just dominating all phases of the game, you know? Uh, if you were, Sarge, why don't you, uh, why don't you take us inside the red team strategy for a second here? Uh, I'll be glad to do that there, uh, King. You know, here's, here's basically how it goes. Here on the red team, we have a philosophy that, uh, if we score the ball a lot and we don't let them score at all, usually we'll win the game. And uh, we figure, let's just let's just put this into uh, math for a second. I mean, I know nobody wants to look at math this being finals week and all in high school, but let's just look at it for a second. Very important. Math is a very important thing. Um, let's just say we score 20 points, right? And they score none. About 95% of the time, we win that game. I mean, and there's a, uh, a little bit of an off shot from Jorge who's off balance. Sarge with the ball. Sarge with the dunk! Ah! Whoa, Sarge. Whoa. Look at that scream like that, alright? I'm sorry, man, when I dunk, I get a little rowdy, you know? Uh, ever since my grandma played in the NBA, whenever she used to dunk, uh, she used to get a little rowdy, too. 
Oh, a good shot by Jorge. You know, he's, he's, he's a great teammate, you know. So he shoots the ball real, shoots the ball real nice. You know, he puts it in the hoop most of the time, usually it goes in. Sarge with a great kill on the end. Sarge takes the ball. Sarge gets stuck. Oh, by his own teammate. Fades away. Good contact by Jesse. Turning back. And he throws it away. It's a good play. That was a good play. Here we go. We got Ian with the ball streaking down the field. Jesse is his lead blocker. Sarge coming from behind. Gets the kill. Throws it away. Kills popping a bop up. Gets stuck. Oh, but here we go. We got Ian and Jorge. Maybe Jorge racing down the field. Jorge with the ball. Jorge takes a shot. Jorge, he's good! And the red team is up big here. 24 to 10 with five minutes left. And Sarge, you gotta start thinking that it's kind of improbable for the red team coming back. I mean, for the blue team to come back, of course. That didn't make any sense. Now, Sarge, it was great talking to you. Um, here we go, Sarge, another shot, another knocks it down again. But we're gonna switch to a blue team perspective. We're gonna get Pop the Bop Bop on the mic right now as he gets killed. Sarge, it's great talking to you. Any uh, closing words on your seven points? Uh, I got I got great teammates. All right, Sarge, I'll talk to you later. All right, here we go. We got Papa the Bop Bop on the mic. Papa the Bop how you doing? Hello, my friend. I'm doing very well. Even though this game may not look good, we are in a good position. All the time, all we do is cash out. I want you to know that. Listen, this guy Sarge, he does not know what is coming for him. We are a great team. We are one unit. We may look like three players, but if you ever did three minus two, you would get one. Do you know that, Mr. Superfly? That's a, that's a very interesting way of looking at it, Papa the Bop Bop. Uh, but you do realize you're down 18 points with four minutes left. You'd have to score immediately on every single possession, and this does not help as Sergeant shores you guys again. He is a good player. He is the only reason they are up by 20. And listen, I heard your statement before the game about how this J. Brown 2-1 is the only player on the blue team. I'll tell you now I cannot support that. I do not like you saying that very much. Okay? You see that? The only reason he make that shot is because of me. If I was not on the team, he would not have made a shot by it. Okay? Well, that's an interesting viewpoint thing that kind of did it all by himself. And then you got Ian McDonald too. He's a, he's a good player too, but I didn't see you do much. Listen, you don't understand Mr. Superfly. You're a great supporter of Sarge, I know that. You're almost like the same person. But you have to realize one thing here, friend. I get killed. When I get killed, I do it for a reason. See, when I get killed, I'm a great distraction. It takes one player away. I will take my guys in a 2 on 2 any day, okay? I mean, I'm sure you would take your guys in a 2 on 2 any day, but you guys are down by 16 right now, and you only got 3 minutes left. Listen, you see this man, Ian McDonald, right now? He's a great player. He's just as good as the rest, okay? Uh, he just got blocked going for the dunk. Listen, you close-minded ferret. It does not matter if you get blocked once or twice. A great man once said, if you get punched in the face, then you probably got knocked out. You know who said that? Meta World Peace, the greatest NBA player of all time. Okay. You sure about that? What's Meta World Peace's real name? Why? Isn't it Gandhi? I don't believe it's Gandhi there, pal. Alright, here we go. There's Jay Bram knocking down the dunk. Sarge has a double kill going on the field. Can you stop with all the Sarge talk? You talk about him like he kills two people every time he gets a sword. That's not what happens. Sarge going up for the shot. Sarge knocks it down. And you gotta believe that this one is all but over, Pratip. Listen, my friend. I don't understand what you're talking about. It is not over until the fat man zings. And the last time I checked, all Spartans are the same weight. So when you can find a fat Spartan, let me know. Okay, I'm, uh, well, I'm listening to a fat mouth one right now. Listen, you think I talk all the shit in the world. I don't talk that much. I'm just telling you the blue team is the greatest thing to ever grace the darn earth. Okay? You see the stadium? How does it? You could say the stadium is out of the world. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. But it is not. Okay, the stadium is nothing special. You think because you built it, Mr. Superfly, you think it is so special, but it is not. You are wrong, okay? Not everything that you build is so good. Uh, how about instead of talking about my uh, craftsmanship, we talk about the game going at hand right here. The red team is just taking control of this game, and you gotta believe this one is all but over. Listen, you don't understand one thing. It is statistically impossible for us to win. 
but we will still win the game. This is why you are so feeble minded, you ferret. You don't understand these simple things. Whatever you say, but up up. Here we go, we got Ian with the ball. Ian's taking the shot. Ian's good. And on a very negative day, it would seem as though there was one player on the on the blue team that kind of held them back, and his name wasn't Jesse, it wasn't Ian. You're right. This Sarge guy, he definitely held the blue team back. If he could play a little bit better, then we would just have a chance. I think that's one thing. Uh, Sarge is on the red team, guy. Okay, listen. If this Sarge character you talk about is really so good, then how is he not playing for both teams? Listen, you guy. I want to tell you, you're a little sniveling piece of... Uh, sorry about that. It would seem as though we lost Christmas to the party. Um... It seems as though this game's all but over. We got we have 20 seconds left. Uh, we have red team up by 10. This one's this one's over, folks. But Sarge taking it again, looking to cap off a big night by him. Oh, he's gonna get blocked here. I'd say a fitting way to end the game, but that's not a fitting way to end the game. So in the end, we got a 32 to 22 win. We got. Let's just rewind this real quick. I just want to see this again. Let's check out the final block.